right there we have my perpetually beautiful wife Tammy with uh, 10 month old F2 uh, Mike and Shepherd Kratos brushing a bug off my neck here I'm here with uh, my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan and uh, we're gonna do a father and son hike today with the dogs come along <laughs> Kurgan burning burning rubber, burning paw. <laughs> yeah, burning paw. <laughs> it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Beauty. Come on. How are you guys doing? Good, how about you? Oh, enjoying the day. Cute dog. Yeah, you too. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How about you? Good. Nice looking ducks. Thanks. Yeah, that's hot. You guys have lots of stickers. Just some must like stickers when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> They're right there waiting for us. They're like, hurry up, slow pokes. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, immediately in the puddle of water up here, Tim. <laughs> Kurgan, when he gets here, automatically lays down in this mud puddle here and gets mud all over his muzzle to keep the mosquitoes off of it. <laughs> I don't like this documenting every trip I do. When did that become a thing? <laughs> I've been cultivating. be perfect all the time. I've been cultivating this image of me being this spry old guy that's 54, and you, you turn me into one of the Three Stooges with clown feet. <laughs> The question is, which stooge? It would have to be curly because I don't have any hair. I'm curly and Shemp's third brother, Chad. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. So a stinging nettle on either side of the path here. Though I had somebody in the comments tell me that it's uh, wood nettle and not uh, stinging nettle. They both sting. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know. I know it's some type of nettle and it stings. So, <laughs> But uh, yeah, if that's the case, thanks for the info. I'll have to uh, look into that more. Yeah, well, you know, when I, when I look it up online, it's a stinging nettle, but... Uh, let me get a close-up of it, because now they got me curious. curious yeah. Oh, there's a spider. Is there? Nice. 
And see, they call it, here it is here, they call it stinging nettle because it's got these little stinging hairs on it that uh, are a big irritant for some people. It's got uh, all kinds of medicinal properties, uh, both the Native and the Ameri both the Native Americans and the settlers uh, used it for many things. You hear that music? No. You don't? I'll look it back over there. Alright, Kerrigan, we'll go to the beach this way. Ooh, see him? He's chasing a bird. That robin there. See that? See him? Hi, little birdie! <laughs> How you guys doing? Good, enjoying the day. <laughs> come on, Kratos. Kratos, come on. Boy. We got some dogs playing up here. Boy. <laughs> there, they fast. Mm -hmm. He's fast. How you guys doing? Yeah, how are you? Oh, enjoying the day. It's beautiful. Come on. That one does look like a wolf. Yeah, he's a blue bay shepherd. They were created to kind of look like that. Yeah, That's mine. He's, chasing yeah, he's, uh, he's fast. <laughs> Uh, Blue Bay. Blue Bay Shepherd, yep. Yeah, they're kind of a fairly new uh, new breed. Oh, thank you. That one you got that's running around fast is pretty handsome too. Is the white one yours or is that hers? Yeah, that's a handsome one too. Take care. <laughs> Come on, Kurgan. Good boy, Kratos. Good boy. How you guys doing? Oh, enjoying the day. Good boy. Yeah. Great toast down in the water. Kurgan making friends. Now the river's down. You can walk around this tree easily now. Oh, the week with no rain. Yeah. Come on. Boys. Great loves the water. Yeah, how you doing? How are you? Oh, enjoying the day. Oh. It is. How you doing? Beautiful day, huh? Yes. So it was fun to watch the, the body language uh, with the dogs when they greet other dogs. Good boy.
Rhodesian Ridgebacks, nice. Thank you. Handsome ducks. Thanks. Hey guys. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, oh that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Still a handsome duck. in there with them yeah. I'm not cuz uh, I'm lazy I don't want to take my shoes off and walk around barefoot I have to clean the sand up makes a good irritant when you're walking a lot oh, it's warm. it is yeah well, by the shore especially I'm bummed we didn't get my ribs last night. <laughs> my son didn't get home early enough because we wanted to have him with him. So hopefully tonight. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. How you doing? Doing well. Oh, you got? You can see with the jogger running by, you know, the dogs didn't bother or harass the jogger. They were good with the little dog. Again, just a little window of what they're like. Yeah, it's just beautiful. That breeze really makes it nice, huh? It's gonna be warm though. Yeah, it's still early in the day, I'm sure. Few hours, it's not going to be uh, quite as pleasant. Had to clean up after one of the dogs. Yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Buddy. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, enjoying the day. Eggs, beautiful, huh? Oh, oh, what, a <laughs> what a cutie. What a cutie. Oh, they got to see the dog rolling on something. I wonder if there's some dead fish there. This cur getting Kratos peeing on the bushes. Come on. How you doing? Going over to greet the dogs over in the water over there. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is where all the cool dogs hang out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, him and that's his son right there. What are they? Uh, Blue Bay Shepherd, and uh, he's Blue Bay Shepherd and German Shepherd. Oh, wow. 
think he thinks he's an alligator sometimes. <laughs> Anytime he gets by water, he's got a lady. Hey, Mary, Mary, come on, too far. Come on, honey. Come on, Mary, Mary. Come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. Head down this way, Tim. Yeah. Come on, Kratos. Come on. Good boy. Gonna walk across here and go over there. She's so cute. <laughs> Make a different noise. Now there's a stone right here that I just stepped on. And you made it. Off for a second, my sciatic is acting up. What'd you say? Oh, yeah, is that a yellow one? Yeah, what are those ones called? Those yellow, yellow ones that look like monarchs. Well, there's that little Mary dog again, she's a cutie. Hey, Mary, oh, hey, little sweetie, <laughs> what a cutie. All right, come on, Kratos. <laughs> All right. You want to climb up through there? Or do you want to walk down around here? Are we going to go to the Vortecus? Well, it goes there either way. Okay, I don't care. Whatever one you want to do. Uh, they, pro they probably, well... Oh, let's go this way just because they'll probably enjoy the water more. <laughs> Kurgan burning paw. <laughs> Peeling out. For those who wonder why dogs do that, that's uh, part of scent marking. Uh, when you see them scratching the ground like that. You typically only see more dominant dogs doing it. But that's not always the case. Kurgan eating greenery. Come on. You know water levels are low now because this is often all full of water here. The water will 
even come up to the wall here making you not be able to walk across here it's funny because as soon as the water levels drop this the stuff grows up in like days yeah. How you doing? Oh, enjoying the day. Great day to be out on the trails with your dog. Yeah. Nice looking crew you got. Thank you. Uh, Blue Bay Shepherd, and he's a Blue Bay Shepherd, German Shepherd. What does that mean, Blue Bay? Uh, that's just uh, where they were created in Florida, where they uh, the owner, that's the name she decided for them. Oh, thank you. That's that cute little guy you got right there. Wow, wow. What a nice little nugget. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. No, yep, you're good. That was a cute little pup, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now that's something you could do with uh, buttons. Uh, you wouldn't have to worry about her getting snatched, snatched up by a owl or an eagle or something down here. There's so many raptors down here, I don't... Uh, feel comfortable letting my little dogs run loose because they're prey size. It's an awful cool shirt you got on there, Tam. Is that some of that Merch from First 508th Airborne? I think it is. Check it out. Nice. <laughs> Check out our merch. It's a good way to support the channel and uh, get something cool in return for uh, helping us out. Also, like, subscribe, and most of all, share. That helps us grow. <laughs> if you watch these videos and uh, you aren't a subscriber we ask that uh, you just take a couple minutes and go down and subscribe it doesn't take a lot of effort on your part and it really helps the channel out with the uh, YouTube algorithm Home. Too bad it's too big for the rack tumbler. I think you'd probably break that thing if you put it in there. Yeah. Pretty neat though. Mm -hmm. Is this another one? This one's really cool. Nice. Nice sweetie with the good eye. <laughs> find the cool stuff. Nice. found this one thing that looks like a Native American grinding bowl down here in one of our videos that we have. We keep crystals in it now. Get ready to shake, Tim. Get that look. <laughs> well, that's cool, too. Mine. Says, what is it? That's mine. Here I had this nice scene of father and son, and Kratos has got a big bunch of saliva over his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Get your workout on today. Oh, is that a piece of that Libyan glass you're wearing today? Mm -hmm. that yeah, that's some Libyan glass that I gave her a while back. Some say Libyan glass comes from when a uh, 
big uh, meteorite crashed into the desert uh, in the Middle East, uh, in Libya, and uh, surrounding areas. I guess you can find it all over the desert. I, I, I collect, I have a bunch of it. Other people who uh, believe in forbidden archaeology think it comes from an uh, ancient nuclear blast uh, from an ancient war uh, between advanced civilizations that uh, inhabited this area and planet uh, before a modern age. A lot of people suspect that uh, that's the true reason we're in the Middle East is uh, to uncover ancient technology and uh, not for oil. <laughs> But what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube, right? Find something interesting? Better not be anything they're gonna roll in. <laughs> They're inside the Mississippi Witch Hut. The Mississippi Witch. In uh, yesterday's video, we ran into the uh, guy responsible for doing uh, most of the balancing stones that we come across down here. We've run into him a couple of times now. Hey, we're not going that way yet. Come here. Good boy. You can't come that way. You got to go back the way you came, Kratos. Good boy. Kratos, come on. Good boy. Ah, get the dual shake. Yeah, well, he kind of got you from behind while Kurgan got me. I didn't feel it. Because you're too hot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot, man. It's getting warm, yeah. Yes, it's humid. The humidity's kicking up. I'm starting to glow now. <laughs> Should we see what the guy yeah. balanced yesterday? Yes. See what see what new uh, ones he did. Yeah, that's a cool stone, man. You could dig around in here forever and find all kinds of cool stuff. Yes. I want to go too is uh, up to the north shore. Yeah. We're going to take a drive up there and I want to see the Devil's Kettle. Oh, yeah, I want to go to that Devil's Kettle too. Yep. If you haven't ever heard of it, look up the Devil's Kettle in uh, Minnesota. It's kind of, I don't know, man, I think it's, it's a speaky weird. spot. Uh, it's this waterfall that goes down into this hole into the earth and just disappears. They don't, they don't know where it goes to. They've like dumped all kinds of ping pong balls and dye and all kinds of stuff into it to like see where it empties out, you know? And uh, they don't know. So, I mean, it goes somewhere into the earth. They say there's more, uh, what, like uh, two to three times more water uh, underneath the crust of the earth than there is on the surface. So, I don't think yeah, yeah, well, there's that same big stack there. Yeah. Man, it's hot. Yeah. But yeah, so it just goes down into this hole in the ground and they don't know where it goes. And I just keep thinking, how many bodies have been dumped down there? I mean, I mean seriously, dude. You know, that's crazy to think about. Hey, let's go for a trip. 
And why does it have the name Devil's Kettle? <laughs> I don't know if I'm uh, if I remember it when I'm editing video. I, I edit these on my phone, so sometimes I'm in a hurry. But if I remember it, I'll uh, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to it. You can see what it looks like. Devil's Kettle in Minnesota. I just want to know where it goes. I've always wondered since I was a little kid. You know, the first time I heard. I heard it. Getting your shoulder workout, doing one arm presses? Might as well. <laughs> Burn as many calories as you can because we're eating barbecue ribs and chicken tonight, <laughs> god damn it. With cornbread too. Yeah. Uh, lots of JoJo's with uh, barbecue sauce on it. Gotta get the spicy sauce. Yeah, their medium sauce is their best sauce. The, the hot is so hot that uh, it doesn't really have much flavor. I like really spicy food, but I like it to be more than just hot. I like to be able to taste it. Mm -hmm. And their medium sauce is very spicy, but uh, it's so good. yeah, it's got a lot more flavor than the hot. I love spicy. Yeah, if you live in the area, check them out. Yeah. yeah, if you live in the area, check out Ted Cook's. What is it called? Ted Cook's 19th Hole or something, something like, that. like that. Yeah, really good ribs. So they you just start typing Ted Cook's, it'll pop Yeah. Up. Uh, if you're a local, I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Right. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty notorious for their great ribs. What's the other one that used to be good? I don't even know if they're around anymore. That, that Scotch Your Mamas. Yeah. Is that off of Nicollet? Yeah, off uh, I think 54th and Nicollet. Right on the corner? Yeah, right it's up? just off of there. They always had weird, uh, weird wow. hours though, and I'm not sure if they're still around, especially after COVID. Right. So many uh, Business small businesses like went out. It's true. Yeah. I'm glad they uh, finally lifted the ma mask restrictions here, even though our uh, governor uh, uh, removed them. Uh, he left it up to the city mayors and Minneapolis and St. Paul kept them in effect for a while still. That's finally done. So hopefully, a bunch of these small businesses that have been so badly affected by this will be able to get things going again. Again, uh, a lot of good dining places and other stuff aren't with us anymore because they just couldn't yep. survive the yep. restrictions. Super sad. Yeah, I really feel sorry for all those uh, you know, families that uh, were supported by that. I'm just crouching down because my sciatic is acting up a little bit. It's alright. I find this stretch. Yeah, Tammy's getting her workout in. I wonder how much it weighs, probably five pounds? Think, you think that much? Oh, yeah. I don't know, three to five, mm -hmm. yeah. It's got like those sparkles that that other rock has. Oh, you see pyrite in it? Yep, look at it. See? Oh, yeah. That other stone it does that have, I got? Oh, yeah, it does have a little pyrite. Nice. I love that other stone. That other stone is so cool. Hopefully, uh, I think it's picked up on this. Yeah, nice. little, little pyrite flakes mm -hmm. in it. Cool. I'm a big fan of uh, rocks and crystals. I've collected them for most of my life. You'll always notice we're wearing something. I got a piece of Panamu from uh, New Zealand today. Panamu is like uh, one of my favorite stones. <laughs> Kurgan playing with his boy. Panamu is one of my favorite stones. It's a jade from New Zealand. Though the they do classify certain other green stones from New Zealand also as Panamu. Uh, some of the serpentine and that uh, from there also. 
but uh, yeah, it was highly uh, prized by uh, the Maori people. They valued it uh, more than gold, they say. It's often given to people uh, uh, for uh, you know gifts of friendship in that it's, uh, it's supposed to retain some of the energy of the person that wore it and then when it's passed down to the family it's uh, you know kind of at least that's the way I've always oh, been, been told uh, it's kind of kind of viewed and used but what do I know again I'm just some guy on YouTube <laughs> some goofy guy that likes crystals and rocks That's why I got a goofy wife who likes them too. <laughs> Man, it's hot. Oh, there's the mushroom lady. Oh, yeah. Ooh. How you doing today? How's your mushroom hunting going today? Come on, Kurgan. How's your mushroom hunting going today? Well, well, I hope it goes better. Take care. <laughs> Have a great day. We ran into her on the last, uh, last couple of hikes. Yeah, last two, three hikes. So she's down here collecting mushrooms. Probably didn't pick up what she said, but she said it wasn't going good today. She might have to go to the store and buy some green giant. <laughs> Close to the end of the walk though, and we can go to a restaurant depot and buy some food for the dogs today. We got a brush badge, maybe I'll, I'll film that. She's blowing copious amounts of hair right now. I left dirt all over my leg when he just brushed me. <laughs> mosquito repellent. Huh? Mosquito repellent. Yeah, sharing the mosquito repellent, you're right. Looks like a good place to stop. Kurgan's going potty. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Uh, bye for myself. My perpetually beautiful wife, Tammy. Bye, guys. See ya. Have a great day. Yes. Woo. Also, check out our merch store. Buy it again from Kurgan.
and the Crate Man. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. <laughs> <laughs>